in the previous episodes. From the start of all seas in 1985, we set out to do totally new things. We were building something that has never been done before. We thought of a way to avoid the use of a cargo barge, and that was by the jacket lift system. It's been years of work of designing and drawing and making plans, and now we're actually uh, creating this, and I'm at the forefront of uh, installing and commissioning it, and I'm really excited to see it work. So uh, we're currently standing on Iron Lady, and. From here, we drove the beam onto the, the Pioneer Spirit. The installation of a 6,000 ton beam is a, is a challenging operation. We're finally upending the beam synchronously for the first time. So it's a, it's a big moment. Mike Slava, you're in position. After years of design, engineering, building and testing, it is the moment of truth. Time to deploy the revolutionary jacket lift system for the first time on a commercial project. Pioneering Spirit is on her way to the North Sea. Waiting for the vessel is a decommissioned jacket weighing more than 8,000 tons. I feel uh, excited that we are finally here after years of development. Uh, only days away now. I absolutely wanted to be present during the first jacket lift, having lived towards this moment for actually for 30 years, uh, because it has taken that long to build it and put it to use. We are very confident that it will be successful, but in advance of it really happening, it's always a thrill. Uh, we've been here in the field for a couple of days. So there were a couple of milestones already, putting in the, the rigging platforms as we arrived, making the first cuts subsea, seeing the, the beams upended. So yeah, just being here is, uh, is an exciting opportunity and uh, the most exciting bit is still ahead of us. We are lifting a jacket with four blocks, which are controlled individually. So that will be a first and uh, apart from that we also have a unique capability of lifting a jacket and then rotating it inboard uh, to the deck and there we have to redistribute the loads uh, of the grillages, so the support points on the jacket during uh, that process. It went beautifully. It was the first time we used the system, of course, after having done tests, but it was, went surprisingly smoothly. It was as if we'd done it many times before. <laughs> the most exciting moment, um, that must have been the moment at lift, when we were standing here on the bridge and there was complete silence and everyone was watching whether we would reach First separation because that's the moment you know that your system works and you're fully separated from the seabed and we watched the numbers on the screen and we saw the separation increase from zero to a couple of meters then we knew it worked and there was a big applause here and a sigh of relief as well I am the most proud of how we accomplished this as a team the system has been thought out many years ago it's been tested and tested over again but then that it just worked so beautifully right away. The first time was incredible. While the team is still celebrating the latest milestone, Pioneering Spirit is on her way to a disposal yard to deliver the jacket for recycling. Equipped with two unique lifting systems, the vessel is now complete, offering the offshore energy market a total solution for heavy lift work. A busy summer awaits the team a record number of offshore lifts, many with the new jacket lift system. Designed, engineered and built by the pioneers of all seas.